Good morning. Today we're out here at Oak Grove Park in Grapevine, on Lake Grapevine. Uh, we've been out for just a little bit, caught a couple of pics of the sunrise as we were getting here, but most of that has already gone away. We've had a quick little night breakfast out here, and now we're getting ready to go start hiking and do some photography. This park is a, a mixed thing. There's really well-paved hiking, biking, and running trails. They're all back up by the road. It also has, as you can see, porta potties, picnic benches, and stuff all around. And then the lake, with the sun there shining on it, is all behind me. We're about to go hiking down in there. One thing to know about this one if you plan to go do birding and hiking and you're going to go off trail, the trails are not very well defined. You're going to be hiking through brush, woods, uh, less trails and more just through rough little country so it's it's not as clearly defined trails when you're out actually going down to the lake there behind me and once I get down there I'll get some videos down there and you can see so we're gonna get ready to head down there and get started so I'll be back in a little bit Well, here we're ready to begin. We've walked down closer to the lake and you can see behind me the little trail there that comes down to the lake. Brings you right down to the water. Still got some pretty clouds there in the background. And as you can hear the aircraft in the background too because we're close to the airport. But then once you get down here and start to walk away, the trail fades off and as you can see it's kind of overgrown. All the rain we've had really it's caused it to grow up. So this is where it gets a little more adventurous. You start hiking through all of that, whatever those plants are, I don't know, uh, brush, there we go. So, but we're gonna start wandering around, head off around the lake, which is still pretty full from all this rain, as you can see. And we'll see what awaits us. All right, here we go. Now we've kind of walked out a little bit and as you can see behind me there, Where we've just come from that direction not a lot of trails out here it's pretty overgrown especially after all these rains so like I said if you're gonna come out here get ready for an adventure dress accordingly boots protective shoes long pants you don't want to come out here and flip-flops and shorts and start hiking through this you will definitely regret that later but it is pretty and there's a good chance of seeing some egrets and herons out here which is why we come back here pretty regularly so let's press on a little further well this is an interesting development normally come down here and from here you can see the lake behind me but because of all the rain you can see all those green plants and there goes Joe you can see how they whoops she just disappeared they tower over her head some of those are probably seven feet tall and normally, maybe, oh, probably taller than that, maybe eight or nine feet. You can see Joe down next to him. She looks tiny compared to those. Normally, we can see the lake. We can walk right down to the shore, see the birds, see everything. But it is so overgrown that we can't even access the lake from this particular spot here where we normally get a lot of really good shots and photos. So if you're coming down here, be prepared. You're not going to be able to access the lake as much as normal. Uh, hopefully as we move around a little further some of it will open up and we can actually get to the shore and see what's going on on the lake itself but so far no access it really makes things interesting well here I am down where Joe was standing up next to those plants uh, and as you can see some of these are yeah easily 10 feet tall you can see the one behind me well up over my head there's a lake somewhere back behind here even when I raise this up on the selfie stick I can't get it quite high enough to see the lake I through little patches or openings in the, the leaves I can get glimpses of the water where normally we just walk right up behind here and we're on the lake and we're watching you know getting right up to the shore We've got all of this stuff that is just in the last few weeks of this rain has just shot up like crazy. 
So yeah, it definitely changes the dynamics of uh, hiking or photography or bird seeing or anything out here for now. Uh, quite a bit different. So let's go a little further. Maybe we'll get to see the lake. If not, well, there's other places we can go out here on Grapevine too in this park. It's a very large park spreads around. So we'll, we'll explore some more. See, I told you there was water here. Finally made it through all of that behind us there. There's Joe coming. And got to where that narrows down to one of the little rivers headed out. And you can see even on the far shore, those weeds, whatever they are, have just shot up and have taken over everything. Really makes it interesting trying to get out here and get to it. So you can see we've got some beautiful reflections there on the water behind me. And then up behind, you can see the trail behind there. That leads back up to the uh, concrete paved trails that go on around uh, up towards, back up towards the main road and then back to the parking lot where we came. So we'll obviously, since the lake access is overgrown so bad we can't get to it, we're gonna go up on those trails and wander around and see what else we can see up there. Well, here we are, we made it up the trail. You can see the trail we just came up, the lake down behind me. And now we're on the paved hiking and biking trails that run for miles around the lake here. So if you're out here for fitness, for hiking, or, or well, for just walking, exercise walking, or cycling, this is really good. They've got these nice paved trails with the bridges. You get some really nice views. Normally you can see the lake more, but with all that, those weeds overgrown, the view of the lake is a little bit obscured, but it's still really pleasant and nice out here. So if you're looking for that, this is a great park to come to. And, Normally it's really good for the lake for views, but with it all overgrown, uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. It's all good. Well, we're a little bit further around the river that feeds out of the lake here. And there's trails that we kind of follow. You can see a little bit on the ground there behind me. They're overgrown some, but not quite as bad. We're down by down from one of the bridges on the hiking trail. Haven't seen as many birds. I was just watching a green heron back over there, but he's been playing hide and seek with me, so makes it a little tricky, but it's still really pretty. Uh, very nice, enjoyable. So maybe we'll see something else. We'll just keep pressing on and see what we can find. Well, here we are back where we finished. There's a the lake again watch some uh, turns. I'm pretty sure that's what they were dive bombing for fish or other. Tried to get photos so they're really fast so not sure if I got them or not. Hopefully I did. We'll see when I get home but before we head home what we're going to do is what we'll usually do out here if we're looking for photos is we'll, um, we'll go hop back on the bike and then we'll cruise around the lake. There's a number of little roads in different sections by parks where we can pull out and get close to the water and see uh, what we can see. Maybe we can see those turns again over by Big Daddy Ship to Shore and the marina there at Scott's Landing. Uh, sometimes we've seen uh, great blue herons and egrets around the lake and we've also seen over, I'll stop and point it out, there's a tree where there's a pair of hawks that apparently have a nest nearby and then during nesting season we can frequently see them up there and get some nice photos of them. Uh, pretty view of the lake there behind us so uh, we're gonna head around and we'll see what else we can see as we move around the lake. Well, here we are. We've come down to Scott's Landing. Big Daddy ship to shore, the marina all behind us. That obnoxious dog in a car back there just barking his little butt off. Um, but we're gonna see if I can get some pictures of those terns that are out there diving. They keep coming up closer to the marina here. And of course, if you come down here, there's never a shortage of ducks wandering around the marina. Mallards, Muscovy, uh, various ducks like that, because they, they get fed at the marina. You can buy duck food. Well, 
it's cat food that they feed to the ducks, uh, but you can buy that and feed them. So they know they're gonna get fed, so they hang out here a lot. So if you wanna get some pictures of ducks, this is a great place, Scott's Landing out here in Oak Grove Park. We're still down here by Scott's Landing, and if you look behind me, a small flock of Canada geese. They're frequent visitors down here as well. Lots of times you come and when they're down in this area before they migrate back up north, um, you'll see them. So with winter coming on, they're down here for their southern migration for the winter. So pretty common sight. We saw a big flock of them fly over earlier when we first got here. and We've seen several others. So you can see them up there behind me if you like them and they're very beautiful birds. And they also tend to be less skittish than some of the smaller birds. So you can usually get fairly close and get some nice photos of them. They seem to like to pose for photos. So Canada geese out here by Scott's Landing. Here we go, let me look around and see. There's the marina behind us, the lake. And then where we were earlier, that point right there on around back up that way is where we first started earlier this morning. And now we've come around the lake a little bit. We're gonna continue on around after we finish up here. Come down here, down the road from Scott's Landing and there's an abandoned parking lot up here. And I'm standing here and right behind me, there he is, there's a great blue heron that has been just standing there and posing very nicely for some photos. Normally they don't get let you get near this close to him. I'm probably about 30, 35 feet away from him. You can see him there. And he's just chilling out, not bothered at all by my presence. Very unusual and very enjoyable too. Odd to get pictures this close of him. Don't do that very often at all. Usually I'm way at the end of the 600 range trying to catch them and I was able to bring it all the way in. Very nice. You just never know what nature's gonna give you. Here I am. And there he is again. I'm about 15 or so feet away. The boat just went by so the waves are rolling up on the shore, but he's just hanging out. He doesn't seem to be bothered by my presence at all. You just, you never know, they're usually so very elusive and shy and hard to get up close photos. And this guy's just hanging out like it's no big deal. We came a little further around and had a nice encounter. You can see him there. There he is. He's on the corner of the fence. There is a hawk. Oh, there he goes. He just flew away. But he was out here chasing off some buzzards and he chased off a great white egret that was out on the water and let us actually get very close here. Some nice photos. I'll make sure and put some of those in the video. So though it was really beautiful. He was close. I'm not sure. I think it was a red shouldered hawk. I'll have to look at the photos to identify it when I got home. I thought it was an osprey when we first saw it, but once I got closer, I realized it wasn't. Uh, they don't have that, didn't have the traditional black stripe that the ospreys have on their cheek. But it was a beautiful, beautiful hawk that let us get within about 30 feet of it for some really nice photos. You just never know what you're going to get. What we thought was going to be a less than eventful day because of all the overgrowth and we couldn't get to the lake, thanks to uh, the great blue hare and the hawk and a few other things, it really turned into a nice day. We've got some nice photos, had a nice adventure, so you know, you never know. We've come down, oh by the way, this is one of the other turnouts. I forget the name of the road. There's ballparks up the road behind us. If you come around the road from uh, where we first came in, I'll put some uh, maps and pointers on there, this little road we came down. And uh, you just, we will like, after we go do our hikes and our walks out here. We'll just do a draw, slow drive around the lake and pull into each of the little turnouts where their boat ramps and docks are because you just never know what you're gonna find. Sometimes you'll get greeted by a hawk that likes to be very friendly or a great blue heron that lets you get right on top of it. It's just all part of the joy of nature photography. Sometimes it's hard to find and other times they come right to you. So just yeah, keep shooting and uh, I'll be back in a little bit.